right now is the I-90 bridge going over Mannheim Road. What we're doing is uh, widening this road, and what is required is earth retention to support the existing bridge. Pile driving, a lot of people think of as just banging beams in the ground uh, for, uh, for support of buildings and bridges. Commonly, you'll see sheeting, sheet piles, Pile drivers get into caissons, uh, micro pile. Micro pile is a, a small version, uh, a smaller drill shaft um, using a small drill rig. Uh, all sorts of different applications for earth retention. So we've got soldier pile and lagging that we're currently installing. Uh, the soldier pile or the steel beams were driven with a 100 ton crawler and a diesel hammer. Uh, once we drive those H pile, we install lagging. This is contact lagging. So we are uh, shooting threaded studs onto the face of those piles. In five foot lifts, the excavator will uh, dig the face of those piles and we will install hardwood oak lagging. So this crew that we're looking at right now consists of uh, the, the backhoe operator, which is a 150 uh, operator. Um, and then we have a composite crew of uh, pile drivers and uh, laborers. The pile drivers, if you, uh, if you look up top, he's got a chainsaw up there. The guys are hacking these big old timbers with, uh, with a chainsaw. They got to muscle the boards down into the hole. Uh, you'll see a Nelson stud welding machine that we are popping these studs on. These are threaded, threaded studs. Um, so the pile drivers are welding the studs. They're cutting the boards. They're placing the timber lagging, working in unison with the 150 operator doing the bulk of the digging and a couple laborers doing some fine tuning. Once we're down to final cut, uh, the bearing pile can be installed. Uh, using the same method as the soldier pile, it's a 100 ton crawler, we'll use a diesel hammer and uh, we'll drive uh, bearing H pile to a certain capacity and the bridge will sit on those. Commonly the pile drivers, we really need them to be good with the torch. Uh, being a certified welder is extremely important. Uh, a lot of our work involves uh, welding. Some of these pile go rather deep, so you have to splice onto them. You can't just do it in one piece. Um, welding skills, torch work, that sort of thing is, uh, is needed. What attracts most people to our trade is, uh, you know, it's it's big cranes, it's heavy beams, it's uh, it's a lot of action. It's uh, it's a fun job. It's a it's an adventurous job.